All right, welcome back to Self Principle. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. Now, today's topic is all about blood in the urine, also known as hematuria. As you know, we've talked about hematuria in the past, and the two most common causes of blood in the urine or hematuria are really stones or bladder infections going on. But today we're going to talk a little bit differently, and that's about microscopic hematuria and what do you need to know in relationship to kidney disease going on. Now, microscopic hematuria is defined as having three or more red blood cells when you look under a microscope at a high power field going on. So they basically take a urine sample, they spin it down, they put it under a microscope, and if they see three or more red blood cells in the field they're looking at, that's the definition. Now, the question really is, is a lot of people can have blood in the urine on occasion, and is there a link with chronic kidney disease? So there's a really interesting retrospective, which means they're looking in the past cohort study. This was published in the American Journal of Kidney Disease, and in this one, researchers were looking at 232,220 Korean adults who at their baseline did not have chronic kidney disease. Now, what they wanted to see was whether or not one-time episodes of blood in the urine or persistent episodes of blood in the urine was correlated, not causal, because this is once again a population-based study, but were correlated with the development of chronic kidney disease. So what they did in this particular study was they did measurements of blood in the urine by testing their urine on two separate occasions about 1.7 years apart. And they had the participants in four separate groups. The first group, which is really the control group or the reference group, was the one that had no blood in the urine at both times. The second one was who had blood in the urine on the first time, but no blood in the urine going on on the second time. So we will call that the regressed hematuria group. The third group was no blood in the urine to start, but then they had blood in the urine on the second occasion, which we'll call the developed blood group or the developed hematuria group. And lastly, the fourth group was they had blood the whole entire time going on. So in all of these participants, they basically had about a 4.8 year follow-up going on. And during this time, they noticed about 2,400 cases of chronic kidney disease had developed. So looking at the hazard ratio or the risk of developing this, what they found was that in the group that basically started with blood in the urine, but on the follow-up had no blood in the urine, they had about an 80% higher risk of having chronic kidney disease versus the group that had no blood in the urine, but went on to develop blood in the urine and then it stayed was having about a twofold higher risk going on. And lastly, the group that was actually having persistent blood in the urine had the highest hazard ratio going on of 5.23 or essentially 400 times higher going on. So the bottom line of this study was the worst risk factor was people who had persistent microscopic hematuria or blood in the going on in the urine going on the whole entire time. So the take home message really here is, is if you have blood in the urine that your nephrologist or your regular doctor says is there, it's really important to follow up with your doctor to get that worked up to see what's going on. And if you already have risk factors for kidney disease, such as extra weight, blood pressure issues going on or diabetes going on, it's more important than ever to make sure those get worked up and we need to do a workup to see why you have blood in the urine. Now, hopefully it's just a one-time occurrence. Maybe it was an infection or a stone. Those are all minor stuff that we can deal with. But if it's something else, something more serious, you definitely want to know about it. Thanks so much for watching this episode, guys. As always, if you have questions, drop those in the chat. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.